Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk to you about multilingual WordPress. There are several plugins that can help you to have a WordPress website on different languages. And one of the main aspects when we are looking for plugins is which one is the perfect for me. Well, because of the prices, we can start like to sort out or to see which are our options. So let's say that one of the most expensive but really good plugin that I have found online is Wiglot. Wiglot I have tried for a bit and it actually does the translation automatic but really really good. It's not like those kind of weird automatic translation with weird grammar or something that you don't understand. Wiglot can actually help you to do this really fast but the things that I really don't like or that it are limiting from Wiglot is that you have a word count and when every time Wiglot translates something from your website uh, if you have too many texts then you will re require to have like the most expensive uh, offers from Wiglot also as the number of, web of languages that you will require so that's the backside of Wiglot but honestly if you have the budget to do go for Wiglot, it's really easy to use it and you, you actually also save too much time from it. Another option is WPML, it's one of the most common thing uh, plugin for WordPress and it's actually the one that I'm using especially because it helps you also with all the SEO uh, support also for the titles, metadata and and also the URLs you can translate so if you're trying to aim to position your website to other countries or other type of languages WPML is really helpful. The backside of WPML is that many things are so manual. It also gives you the flexibility to really change one small word from the footer or some widget but it will take more time to translate. They have like this translation management where you just can just keep typing and from what your original language to the one that you're aiming or your target language. That makes it easier, but still comparing to Wiglot, it takes more time. And also WPML is cheaper. Uh, with their, their cheapest packages is around $30. So you can start with it and then as you may keep growing your WordPress website, you can also go for another packages. Also, it's really important to have in consideration which is the compatibility with other plugins. And WPML, since it's one of the most common plugins for translation, then it's also normal to see that it's also compatible, let's say, for with Elementor or any other type of uh, themes. But they also have on their website where you can also look which is the compatibility. And to mention some other uh, plugins that can help you, I'll say that G-Translate is uh, really easy to use and it's actually also an automatic plugin translation. But the backside from this is that it's the translation from Google. What does this mean? That you will have like this. A funny thing from G-Translate is that the grammar will be perfect so you will might have like these weird translations. But it's free for free and also if you want to have a paid version it's only like uh, five to ten dollars so if you want to also give it a try you can use the free version and also previously i was using wp globus it's also a free plugin that makes you uh, to translate manually every part or um, maybe almost every part of the website if you want to change some more widgets then you will have to get a paid version or if you are so aiming to translate WooCommerce then you have to go for the paid version and WP Globus uh, the thing is that one backside that I noticed is that the, the translation makes some weird tabs and add some brackets so if you change from plugin uh, to another one from one translation plugin to another one then you will have some problems uh, because it adds some type of code to your text. So if you want to stay with WP Globus, just stay for it. And if you have on a very basic website, if you're not planning to grow it that much, it's okay, use the free version. So 
WordPress, if you want to aim for an international audience, I really recommend these first two plugins, so WPML and Wiglot. So if you have more questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks for watching.